So what we're going to find in Adobe Flash is that it's really easy to work with our Photoshop and our Illustrator files. So let's begin. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a Photoshop file that has several layers. It's a logo and then we're going to animate those logos and create an, create an animated logo, a real simple one. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to come to File, Import, and we want to import our PSD file to the stage. Now, it's preparing to import. Now we have to find it. And the, the file that I'm looking for is called learn.psd, learnlogo.psd. So I hit open. Now, what I see here, these are all of my different layers. So I have two, four, six, about eight, nine layers all together. Now, what I want to do with each one of these layers is I'm going to click on the one layer. I want to keep it as an editable, editable text and I want to create a movie clip from this layer. Okay, so that's what we want to do. When we do that, then we can actually work with the different layers um, and add tweet, motion tweens, do all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to shift click all these layers and I'm going to say create a movie clip from these layers. Um, and actually I don't want to do that because it's not letting me keep them editable. I think if I do a couple at a time, this one I can. Editable, create a movie clip. Let's come up here. That one is also. I think it was the bottom layer, this layer zero. Um, so I can say editable, create a movie clip. Excellent. Now this last one, uh, we don't have it doesn't need to stay editable. So that's what threw it off when I had that one included. I want to create a movie clip from this layer, and now I'm going to hit OK. And there we have it. Flash imports all of these layers and we can see when we come to our timeline that Flash has put each one of these objects on its own layer. Now, what we can do is we can now come in, insert tweens and make this really um, pretty amazing. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna select this layer right here. I wanna to come to my tools panel and let's hit, oops, Let's take this one and let's actually make this one, this layer, bigger. Okay, now if I come into my properties panel, it looks like um, this layer here, I could actually adjust the size. Okay, um, we'll do, and actually what's happening is the width and the height are connected. We could break that with a height. And I could come in, if I had an exact number, make it exact, but I'm not going to worry about that right now for sake of time. All right, so what I want to do now is this layer right here. I'm just going to lock it so then it will stay where it needs to stay. Next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to select all of these different uh, objects up in the top. I can draw a little space around them, select them, and then I just want to move them into the middle of my stage. Move them up a little bit. Excellent, 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 excellent. I have them all selected now. Um, they're all selected. And now let's see, we could come in. Now, what, another thing we want to look at is they all are symbols. And if we look at Learn Logo PSD, we can click down here and we can see, okay, here are all of our symbols. And our symbols, these objects, we can take and we can actually animate them. So I have all of them selected. Oops. Select them again. And let's see, we could say insert motion tween. Voila. There we have it. With them all selected, I was able to insert this motion tween. Now, the next thing we want to do, we want to actually end with it looking like this. I want to begin with them all off to the side, then come into the stage. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to pull this out to here. Now what's happened is I've lost um, this one right here. So, and I, I actually was, I come into this one motion tween. Now the green has accompanied everything. We're all right into here. Now we can come in, oopsie, and we want to make sure that these are all selected. So we can shift Shift and click, shift, shift, sh oops, I lost them all, hold on. All right, so if I can shift and click more, more than one at a time, or better yet, I could even, you know, click this way too, 
and select all the different objects that I need to. And I can see that once I get them selected, that that is how they look. Now, what I want to do now is I can come into Insert, Timeline, and I want to insert a keyframe. Okay, so this is where I want this animation to end. Now, let's come to the beginning and let's actually uh, insert where we want these to begin. I'm doing this really real simply. We can actually do all kinds of different things, change things around. Pulling this one off the stage. We'll pull this one over here. We'll pull this one over here. This one over here. Okay, that's what it is. When I was pulling that, it was hitting into the shape, and that's why it wasn't working. All right, so let's just take a quick look. Come to our controller. We hit play. Okay, so that's how it looks. There we have it, a very simple, basic method to animate a logo. And again, this video, in this video, we saw that just how compatible um, Adobe Flash is with Adobe Illustrator. It'll be with Adobe Illustrator and with Adobe Photoshop. Again, when we bring our objects in, it reads them, it reads the different layers, and it takes those layers that we've created and puts those objects in their own layers in Flash, turning them into symbols. Now, again, just you can watch uh, some other videos I have on tweens. We could actually come on in here and really work with the properties panel and even add more interest to this simple to this animation and make it quite complex. We'll end there. Thanks for listening.